So a Bible verse that I like to reference is 2 Corinthians 1, 4. He comforts us in all of our afflictions so that we may be able to comfort those who are in any kind of affliction. When we're going through our trials, especially as children, we think we're being punished or we're simply dealt a bad hand in life. Nothing seems to really make sense. It isn't really until we reach adulthood that we see the why behind everything. Every tear shed, every question without an immediate answer. Today, I'm able to be the person I needed when I was younger, and I don't take the powerful role at all for granted. We're all part of a bigger picture, and our individual experiences are not by mistake. Our tests become testimonies, and our stories and traumas can become the reason someone else feels seen. I'm so honored to be able to launch HA, Hope and Achievement, because it represents the hand I needed to hold, the shoulder I needed to cry on, and the voice of hope I longed for when the world seemed to be closing in. At the age of five, I was separated from my family, my siblings, except for one, my youngest sister. We were sent to foster homes at the age where most children should be learning about their favorite color. Instead, I was learning what absence felt like and what displacement felt like. In that time, I suffered verbal, physical, and sexual abuse. The foster care system could be a monster in, in, in itself. It's a treasure when you're placed in a loving home, but I experienced the beast that comes with transitioning from home to home. There were times when I worried about where I would sleep or even what I would eat. I learned very early on that the world could be unforgiving, but I've learned that one constant in my life is God. He's brought me through so much, so many hard times. But as children navigating the world, it's scary, it's a scary voyage when it's hard to discern whose smiles are genuine and whose promises will sustain. Despite my experiences, I see myself as a victor, not a victim. God has brought me through the trials so that I can hold the torch for others who are currently on dark paths. I'm not ashamed of the things I've gone through that were out of my control. I'm just incredibly blessed that I get to help so many. In emergencies, adults are required to put on life vests and oxygen masks first in order to help their children. I think of myself and Hope and Achievement playing this very role. I needed to swim to shore so that I could alert those coming up on how to navigate the rough tides. I'm going to be the life jacket I needed when I felt like I was sinking. Hope and achievement is going to change the narrative that our sailings are too low. I want to encourage those that look like me. The world is much bigger than what we see. So our lives have so much promise. We just have to push through to the next day and the day after that. We matter. We deserve to be in every room, every space, every emotional, financial, and spiritual level beyond what we've ever imagined. So my goal is to empower our youth to write their own stories rather than let someone else hold the pen for them. 
they'll be confident enough to change the trajectory of their lives, flaws and all. Ready? One, two, help the team.